Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Scott. And I'm Mark. We are your Screen Machine product support team, and here's another quick tip. Hello, in this video we'll be going over your side stacker fold and unfold as well as angle adjustment. So everything for that conveyor can be found right here as far as the cylinders go on this valve bank here. Your first handle here is for your uh, your lower section. That's where you're going to fold and unfold your lower section as, where, as well as set your angles on the side stacker. Your middle one is for your middle section cylinders and your top section is going to be controlled by this far handle right here. So for setting angle adjustment, I've got Scott over there. I'm going to lift up on it a little bit to get the tension off that pin. Let's go ahead and remove the pin. You're always going to have tension on it when you're going to adjust it, uh, whether you've been running or, or off the truck or, or whatever. You're going to have to loosen that tension. So if you just want to adjust the angle, we're all the way at the lowest setting here, 20 degrees. You've got 25 and 30 degree options as well. Just going to go ahead and pull on the handle out towards me. It's going to raise the setting of that up and down. Now we're pretty much up at that highest setting. We're not going to go ahead and pin it or anything. It's pretty self-explanatory. Go ahead and pin it in this position. Um, if you're at the setting that you want, we're going to go ahead and lower it back down so we can fold the conveyor. Uh, it's got directions right here that show you how to fold and unfold it. So we're just going to go all the way back down to kind of our lowest setting there. What you're going to want to start doing, uh, folding the conveyor, we're going to look at this chart here. So first we want to take that upper section up to about 45 degrees. So we're going to take this upper section handle, raise it up to about 45 degrees there. You notice as you do that, it pulls in the head pulley on that to loosen up the belt so that we can fold it over the machine. So now that we've got that up about 45 degrees, we're going to follow this diagram here. We're going to come up with the lower section now, not the middle section yet. We're going to pretty much raise this up until that lower section is about parallel. And then we're going to come down with the middle section. Make sure to keep all your equipment, personnel, all that type of stuff out of the way when you're doing this. Just going to hold on that cylinder. So we're all the way up about parallel with the machine. All right. It'll actually kind of fall over towards the machine and rest up against it. That way you know that way you know your lower section's all the way up. Now we're gonna go to that middle handle. We're gonna come down with that middle section. It's always good to have a spotter and another person here because as you can see, I'm not on the opposite side of the machine. I cannot see uh, where that upper section is at currently. We're going to keep coming down with it. I can kind of see it from over here. You want it to be about, uh, about horizontal over top of the machine. So between the two sections, you'll be, be at a 90 degree angle. I keep coming over with it. All right. Now I'm, I'm uh, horizontal across the machine. Scott's giving me the signal to come in with that upper section. So we're going to pull on that upper section handle right here. All right, now you can kind of hear it's in the transport pocket over there. We're going to take this pin uh, that we had for this cylinder here, put it in its transport position right there. That way you don't lose it when you go to unfold it. Scott's got one more pin on the opposite side over there. He, he already put that in already. Make sure you get this pin in its transport, and then there's a transport locking pin on the opposite side you're definitely going to want to put in to make sure that uh, it doesn't come out going down the road. It's a safety feature, so make sure you put that in.